Let's look at this question uh, of a copper ball putting in the beaker A. Uh, the water in beaker A is a uh, boiling water, uh, 100 Celsius. So the copper ball is immersed inside. And after that, the copper ball is taken out and put in a uh, put in a uh, beaker B. Okay, they put in beaker B. And not only that, it is placed on top of a cube of ice. Okay, so the heat will be released by the copper ball and the heat will be absorbed by the ice. So after absorbing from absorbing the heat from the copper ball, the ice has melted and this is a melting of ice. And the value of the copper specific specific heat capacity is 318 joule per kg per Celsius degree. Uh, and specific latent heat of fusion of ice meaning the ice transform into liquid is uh, 3.36 times 10.5 joule per kg so with this information we are supposed to find out uh, how much kg of ice will be melted they want how much kg of ice will be melted so they want M so let's plan what we plan is the, the heat release the heat release, uh, maybe you shouldn't use Q, we just put a statement. The statement is uh, the heat release is the same as the heat absorbed. Okay, we start in a new page. So the heat release is actually MC theta by the copper. The release of heat by copper. release of heat by the copper so this is equals to absorption of heat by ice absorption of heat by ice so you could write uh, ml this another m okay so this mc theta is a uh, what is the copper sphere given the small copper sphere is given as 200 gram okay i forgot to give it just now it's supposed to be 0 0.2 kg times the specific heat capacity of copper is actually 380 okay so the heat change of the copper is 100 minus theta minus 0 because the copper ball is actually 100 celsius so the 100 celsius will drop to 0 celsius over some long long time okay in this question we are not calculating time so it can be 100 celsius to 0 celsius of the copper ball keep on releasing the heat until zero so here is the mass of the total ice melted because i guess they are providing a very big block of ice okay so then this l is given as 336 Three three six uh, zero zero zero. Okay, so we can calculate this m by doing the calculation of uh, hundred times two zero point two will be uh, twenty twenty times three hundred eighty over three three six zero zero zero. Okay, you can cut 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 cut, but still you have to use your calculator. So definitely in the end you get 0 0.023 kg of ice which will be melted. Meaning uh, maybe there are some ice which has not been melted yet like this in this case. You see here? You see here the one that I'm turning the third diagram. Okay, the third diagram. So the calculation is like this release of heat by the copper ball 100 celsius to 0 celsius is the total heat absorbed by the ice to melt ml